everybody, Brian Clum with Clum Dog Outdoors, here with my beautiful girlfriend, Tani Jones. We are out here at Curlew Lake in Washington. It's Valentine's Day weekend. We're gonna be sleeping out on the ice, trying to pin down on some big perch out here in Washington. Hopefully we can get it going. So far we've bounced around quite a bit, haven't really found anything. So we're gonna keep on searching. Uh, we're looking, looking for those big flats and then there's any sort of humps or dips that you can find on those flats is usually it's gonna concentrate the perch. So. We're bouncing around, we're looking, we're gonna try to find them. Once we do, we'll start going a little bit more into detail on what we're using and how we're catching them. So stick around, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Woo! Woo! transition is right now this hole is right at 30 feet of water the next hole over where I left my fish finder that's at 32 feet of water so I'm gonna go ahead and bounce over there there's a two foot transition hopefully they're sitting on the bottom of that transition but can't be afraid to move always got to keep bouncing around hopefully you can find the transitions or the holes or the flats or you never know where they're gonna be but keep bouncing around and you'll find them and hopefully we will find them <laughs> Well, we're still out here bouncing around trying to locate these fish. Um, covered a lot of ice so far this morning, just haven't been able to find a perch, which is really weird for this lake. Usually we have spots that we can go to and find them every single time, but for some reason they're not here today. Not a lot of trout up high in the water column. The trout will come through suspended. It, right now we're fishing 32 feet of water. Trout will come through about 15 to 20 feet. And you reel up to them and they'll, they'll commit to it, but I am running. A small little tungsten jig with a little euro plastic or euro tackle plastic on there kind of mimic the blood worms uh, I had a big spoon dropped it all the way down to the bottom it was pounding the bottom with the spoon just to kind of build up that silt and that usually brings fish in from a distance uh, and then when I reeled up the spoon there's a couple of blood worms stuck on the hook so switched everything over run that euro tackle plastic to mimic the blood worms and still trying to locate these perch uh, this time of year well usually in the early winter they're scattered out and they're constantly moving and uh, bouncing around the flats but this time of year kind of mid to late winter uh, they tend to school up and stick into one general area before they go into the spawning so basically the pre-spawn areas so we haven't been able to locate them we're just gonna keep on bouncing around hopefully we can find that pod hopefully we can find that pod where they're sitting at but so far no go girlfriend's having some issues got a perch on here switched everything out I was using the uh, small little blood worm from Euro tackle and I switched over to the green perch are starting to come through it's not a jumbo not necessarily what we're looking for but they're coming through so that's a start uh, the bite like I said was slow it's been slow the whole time so we ended up setting up our house that's where we're gonna be that's where we're gonna be sleeping for the night so Hopefully the perch keep coming through and we can keep catching them. That'd be fun. <laughs> well, we can't find anything over here. Um, we're gonna make a big move. We're gonna leave the house sitting right there, but uh, we're gonna go to a spot called the Good Hump that uh, Alex Pringle found. Uh, it's toward the south end of the lake, so it's gonna be a bit of a hike for us. So we're just gonna take the, take the small sled, grab a couple beers, and go for a walk, see if we can't locate the fish off of the good hump. We'll see. All right, there's a bunch of them down there. Seems like right when you get to the bottom, now that we're on them, right when you get down to the bottom, they just come rising up. Boom, here they come. Give them a little bit of a rise, give them a reason to come away from it. Seems like if you can pull them away from the pile, that's usually the bigger ones that come up on top of the school. 
this guy here. Boom. Yeah. Oh, spit it. Yeah, so you drop down to them, and instead of fishing right in the middle of the pile, if you can stay up above them, a lot of times those bigger fish, the bigger fish in that group will separate away up at the top. So that's the whole trick is to try and get them to rise up to it. We got some risers here. Come on, come on. Boom. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. Digging, digging hard. Right now we're in 28 feet of water. We were fishing 30 foot of water. Ended up going down to 32 and then 36. But now we're at 28 and we seem to be finding the fish. So make those moves, make a big transition, make a big move. If you're sitting in one spot for too long, you're just wasting time. Gotta keep moving, keep changing up your presentation. I was using a little bit bigger bait earlier. Then I switched over to a small tungsten jig with a tiny little white piece of plastic on there. That seems to be working there. They're not really questioning it. They're coming up, they're committing to it. So change your bait, move, find the fish. Getting bigger. Ooh, here's bigger. Put in front of the camera. Ooh, she got me. Winning. Nice. Best, best one of the day so far, for sure. Like I was saying, we made a big move earlier. We weren't catching any fish over by the boat launch, so we came over to the good hump that we call it, south end of the lake. Really started catching some nice ones. That's a nice one there. Heck yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. Yeah. I am determined. Get the cowboy quick draw on film. Learned that one from Backwater Bait Company. Those guys do, they have a couple different ways they like to set the hook throughout the day. It's kind of like a, a goal throughout the day to get those different hook sets. Right now my goal is the quick draw. <laughs> So shout out to Backwater Bait Company. Grady Floyd, Jacob Bell, those guys are great guys. They make some really nice plastics too. Uh, ended up hooking up with them this, this fall. Brought them out and they had all their plastics and we ended up pinning a bunch of crappie, a bunch of walleye. Bounced all around everywhere. It's really, really good guys. So if you get a chance, check out Backwater Bait Company. They got some really good stuff. Want that quick draw.
got the quick draw. I've been trying for that quick draw for about the last hour now. Kind of shot myself in the foot trying to get that shot. But, got it. Quick draw on the perch. Just like the guys from Backwater Bait Company taught me. And I used a little lure from Backwater Bait Company. Thanks, fellas. Well, everything's winding down. I think we're gonna get ready to call it a weekend. It's been a ton of fun out here at Curlew Lake, catching a bunch of perch, sleeping out on the ice, and spending a Valentine's Day weekend with my girlfriend. So it's been a ton of fun. Uh, if you guys have any questions, comments, anything you want us to talk about or anything, we're always more than willing to give you guys information, let you know what we're using, where we're going, how we're fishing for them. The whole goal is to get people out here and you know get people fishing. So if you guys have any questions, please let us know, contact us anytime. Uh, so yeah, thanks again for watching and uh, see you guys next time.